Hello, my awesome Taurus. I missed you. Happy Friday to you. Happy weekend to you, Taurus. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Taurus, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus, for Taurus highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life. And how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Taurus in their life? And how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? Extra message, very important. You view yourself as available for a relationship, not in a relationship with your soulmate at this time. <sighs> You feel a lot of confusion in this relationship that you've been dealing with. Um, like at times you question yourself whether you made the right decision or not. But all in all, your sound judgment, your logic, your intuition is telling you you made the right decision of letting them go. You feel a great need to clear the air with them though. Like there's something feeling unfinished between you two like you feel like you need some kind of communication yeah you guys have shared so many lifetimes together wheel of fortune some of you are letting go of leo um no matter what sign they are also gemini popping up here no matter what sign they are it shows that you feel a great need to uh, say something but you're not reaching out to that person no oh you're dealing with some kind of group of chaotic people most likely at your job let me see what's going on here you know please show us yeah it's at your job you feel stuck there you feel like you can't really leave yes you can if you really want to leave you can leave find something first you feel comfortable with accept that position or job and then Live on peaceful grounds. You work with a bunch of uh, chaotic individuals. A lot of drama, gossip, chaos. You don't want to be involved in that drama. You are very wise. Yeah, universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus. And how is Taurus currently doing on their summit journey? You've been trying to leave behind this toxic group of people for a long time now, but you always feel set back, like you can't leave. Yeah. So that means uh, you have some kind of lessons to learn. Yeah. Uh, maybe they're teaching you forgiveness, acceptance, patience, understanding. They may be teaching you something through their actions. Oh my goodness. As far as your soulmate is concerned, this is how you view them based on the behavior towards you. Not really communicating effectively, not committing in a healthy way. Yeah. You're handling these people well, though. Yeah. You're not taking things personally like you used to from this toxic group of people chaotic group of people you work with um this is you learning with time and that's what's going to happen when we deal with chaotic people after a while we learn uh how to uh not allow them to uh make us feel like we don't matter or blame us for things <clears throat> we learn how not to take things personally yeah Oh my goodness, this is you feeling, these people are, you really <clears throat> need to find a way uh, to either deal with them better or let them go completely, move on, because it's affecting you negatively emotionally. You see, this group of chaotic people that you have to deal with on a regular basis is really affecting you negatively. 
<clears throat> they are projecting their insecurities onto you. You see this? You are an empath, so you absorb that energy. Don't take things personally. Yeah. If they're bullying you, report them in writing. If somebody is a bully, report them in writing so you have paper trail. Okay? Do it professionally, of course, but report things in writing so things will be handled. If you report things in person, it's just going to backfire. Okay, make sure you report things in writing so it's out there, there's paper trail, and they are forced to address the issue. Okay. Sometimes you showing up as stubborn. Yeah, this is you trying to uh, deal with them on your terms. Um, sometimes you you will respond in their way. Um, and it's just going to backfire in your face. So this is you needing to sometimes understand that you are wiser, smarter, not to stoop down to that level. Yeah. The person you're trying to let go of is still holding on to you. Yeah. Communication is going to happen. So some kind of communication, whether it's with this group of people or a boss or communication with your soulmate, there's communication of great relevance coming that will give you clarity of what to do, um, how to handle uh, difficult situations. Don't be hard on yourself, Taurus. Yeah, don't be hard on yourself. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for Taurus and the life? And how is Taurus currently doing on their summit journey? Communication. Unexpected communication from this group of people. Yeah, you already know how to handle them, manage them correctly. You have experience. Ooh, yeah, I'm not surprised to see this. So these people are so busy gossiping, creating drama. They really don't finish their tasks. Yeah, some of them are really just there to collect their paycheck and just create drama for others. That's not good. Yeah. Ugh, serpent is showing up here. That's not good. Um, there's one person in particular in that group of people that is very jealous of you. You see this? As far as your soulmate is concerned, they used to coming and going as they please, not committing in a healthy way, not communicating effectively, not expressing emotions. You don't find that behavior acceptable. It turns you off because you are of high quality. Yeah. You are very psychic, very intuitive. Listen to your great intuition because your intuition is going to help you uh, guide yourself accordingly. Deal with these people better. Yeah. There's something your soulmate is hiding from you. There's something um, of relevance that they're hiding from you. Let me see what's going on with that soulmate. The universe, please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus that Taurus has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, you see this serpent showing up again. Yeah, that's not a good sign. They have a lot of respect for you. Yeah, they do. Your soulmate has a lot of respect for you. They view you as powerful, moving on with your life, very intuitive. They want so badly to communicate with you, to clear the air with you. There is something going on at your job, brewing again from toxic people. Yeah. The soulmate that you've been dealing with wants to see you so badly, wants to communicate with you. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion uh, around you because you're dealing, you see serpent again, a skull octopus, demonic wings. There's a lot of confusion you're dealing with at your job or business from people that are chaotic. Yeah. I used to work in an environment like that. It was horrible. Yeah. In a hospital. Oh my gosh. 
it was horrible yeah universe please show us yeah, i can relate to you definitely yeah universe please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of taurus that taurus has been dealing with yeah they try to let you go but they can't you see this is them realizing that they care for you they realize they lost you you see you let them go they realize they lost you that the end of a relationship yeah they've been waiting for the right time to communicate with you oh they in love this person is in love with you that you're letting go of but that's not enough they need to show you that love express that love make you feel loved appreciated reciprocated cherished right this is them realizing that they need to get in touch with you because they love you deeply they can't move on with somebody else no yeah you see this person needs to learn how to communicate honestly and effectively how to express emotions yeah this means apologies this person is worried that uh this is over for good that there's no way you will want to listen to what they have to say this means apologies peace offerings your energy is beautiful taurus you're showing up as my favorite queen of all queens queen of pentacles with your third eye wide open very intuitive psychic new soulmate popping up here for you yeah new soulmate someone who is affectionate romantic yeah there you go king of wands someone who's attractive someone who's not shy someone who's courageous mature because they're showing up as a king next to you as a queen new love so remember taurus you have free will to decide whether you want to give this person a new beginning if they prove themselves through actions of course or a new soulmate beginning that's going to be up to you or be alone for a while that's totally up to you you have free will to make those decisions for yourself you are in charge of your life and your actions right universe please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of taurus that taurus is letting go of at this time yeah you see this is how they've been behaving the worst night of all nights night of wands kind of in and out when they feel like it not communicating effectively not committing in a healthy way not expressing emotions not listening and the list goes on they realize this is not working for them they realize what they need to do change adjust you see this so that's a good sign right that they see it they realize it unfortunately they had to lose you to finally wake up and realize it um but it's clear that this person sees what the problem is we all have issues right we all make mistakes but the good thing is they see very clearly what the mistake was that's a very good sign they realize that they can't just sit there waiting for you to reach out you're not going to reach out or chase them they need to be reaching out to you look how much they miss you love you reminisce of you think of you well they need to put that into action Ooh, another soulmate popping up here for you so at least two people of quality entering your life my two favorite kings king of pentacles king of wands this person is concerned you're going to be with somebody else because they love you they didn't love you they couldn't care less who you were they wouldn't even miss you or think of you but because they love you deeply genuinely they are very concerned that you're going to be with somebody else hmm Taurus, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that just showed up. Well, new soulmates, king of pentacles, king of wands with the page of cups, new love dawning for you. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're gonna ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life the two kings new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it 
at the end of the reading as well. So Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.